In this video, I will discuss why it is important when you are working with a procedural item to turn on ghosting when you are working with selection sets. So in this scene, I have a mesh item with a procedural cone and a transform influence, which at the moment has been set to entire mesh. So if I move the transform effector around, W to move, everything moves along with it. Now, let's say that I want to work on a part or that I want the transform effector to only operate on a part of the mesh, then I will have to add a or assign a selection set. So I'm going to select my cone, add an operator and assign selection set. Now, if I expand everything, there is no selection. So I'm going to add a selection and for instance, a select by index over here. And this is, as you can see, empty right now. So ghosting has, been t has not been turned on yet. So let me make a selection like this, for instance, and press set. Now everything works as expected. So now when I go to item mode, select my transform effector, it will still operate on the whole mesh, like you can see, because I have to first set my transform to polygon selection set, and I haven't named it, so my assigned selection set, I'm going to give it a name, so just set for instance, now back to my transform effector or influence, and now I have I should have, so assign selection set, oh, it is set to type vertex, so to type polygon, transform effector, and now it should be here, set. Okay, so now when I select my transform effector, I only move that part around, and everything until now is as expected. But let's say I want to update that selection, so, for instance, I want to clear it and make another selection and now set and, as you can see, something weird happens. It's not these bottom polygons that have been selected, but these top polygons. And the way this works is, well, in procedural stack, these indices, they are, or the, the polygon indices, when I zoom in, you see that I have my indices visible. They are assigned procedurally or interactively. So they may change according to your operation stack. And that is why it is best to turn on ghosting. With ghosting on, you can see actually the polygons or the components that you are working on. So if I make ghosting active right now, and now select the bottom over here, and press set. Now you can see these ones have selected, uh, have been selected. And even if I clear and do this now and set, the correct ones have been selected, which does not happen when ghosting is off. So with ghosting on, you see that these ones are being selected. When I turn it off, make a selection over here and press clear or not sorry about that, I should have pressed clear first and now set. You see, it's not the selection that I have made with ghosting off. So when working with procedural selections in Modo, it is important to turn on ghosting to actually see which polygons that have been assigned to the selection set. And if I want to add these ones now, then can I press add, you see, or when I press clear, you see that everything kind of is being selected because in Modo, when nothing is selected, everything is selected. So again, with ghosting on, set, make that selection, add, and now when I go to item mode and select my transform effector, press W to move, you see the correct selection is being moved. So again, with ghosting off, when I select my index and 
press clear now set something weird again will happen or apparently it is weird but it has to do with the indices and the way that modo attributes the indices in the procedural stack and to make sure that you are operating on the correct selection or the correct yeah on the correct selection that you are making you have to turn on ghosting then make your selection and then set it and then you will be sure that you are working on the correct selection.